Hey everyone, Andy Hader here with Porsche Center Calgary and today I would like to tell you about our new uh, inventory piece. This is a 2020 718 Cayman. Uh, the Cayman is actually one of my favorite uh, sports cars from Porsche. Uh, I was fortunate enough uh, to own one for about a year and a half and put on over 20,000 kilometers. Uh, I did winter drive it with a good set of Michelin winter tires. Um, the car never let me down. Uh, it was quite fun to drive uh, in the winter actually. With it being a mid-engine sports car, uh, your weight is over the rear uh, wheels. It is a rear wheel drive only vehicle and uh, the handling is actually quite good in the winter. Uh, very predictable and uh, with modern technology and traction control, stability control, the car handles quite good in the winter. So really encourage people and my clients to drive them year round. Um, so more about this car. Uh, this is GT Silver on uh, black standard interior so uh, the seats are going to be heated and ventilated uh, but we're going to get more uh, in that um, option list here shortly. Uh, the wheels these are the uh, 20 inch Carrera S wheels these are actually the wheels I had on my personal car and I did put a winter on the 20s and uh, everything worked out uh, just fine. Uh, this wheel here is painted uh, platinum satin and uh, looks very good against the uh, GT silver paint. Uh, this car has the Premium Plus package with the 14-way seats, so this gives you the following features. You have the dimming mirrors, so uh, the mirrors uh, prevent dazzling in the eyes of people following behind you and um, gives you rain sensing uh, windshield wipers, so uh, light drizzle on the, uh, the windshield and the wipers will pass for you. Uh, we have two zone climate control on this as well, so driver passenger can uh, control their own climates. I really enjoy that feature, just set your temperature and forget it. Uh, we have heated and ventilated seats uh, for driver passenger of course, uh, up to three levels of heating and ventilation for each. Uh, by Xenon headlights with PDLS, so that's self-leveling turning with the input of the steering wheel. Uh, very, very handy for night driving. We have comfort access, so with the key fob present in your pocket or purse, just grabbing the uh, door handle, uh, reaching inside will unlock the vehicle, uh, holding your finger or thumb on the door uh, will lock the vehicle, and in this case, this car has power folding mirrors, so it can fold in the mirrors, and then once you get inside the vehicle, just a quick flick of that ignition, and the car starts. Uh, speaking of starting the car, this is our 300 horsepower version with 282 pound-feet of torque. Uh, plenty of power for its weight. Uh, it's a very exciting car to, to drive and uh, with it being again a mid-engine car, the handling is phenomenal. Back to the uh, Premium Package Plus. Um, we have ambient lighting, so that's just lighting in the door pockets and whatnot and it gives you uh, lighting for your vanity mirrors. We've also added the Sport Chrono package for this car so that gives you the stopwatch up on the dash so a lot of people just buy the package just for the stopwatch on the dash it looks fantastic to have an analog uh, uh, clock inside the vehicle uh, this also gives you dynamic engine mounts which helps with the handling and dynamics of the car uh, also gives you a sport plus mode uh, so basically, um, in Sport Plus mode, it heightens all your throttle, transmission, um, so it gives you the most dynamic drive. Uh, the engine will rev close out to uh, redline, and it also gives you launch control capabilities in the car. And another cool feature it gives you is PASM Sport, or PASM Sport, or Porsche Active Suspension Management uh, Sport, which, uh, if the car didn't have this feature, uh, your traction control is simply on or off. Uh, this is an in-between where you can actually play around with the car on a track base, um, slide the car out and your nannies are still partially on so you get to drive sportingly without you know, risking the car spinning out on you. So a really cool feature. 
Um, and finally, uh, I talked about launch control in the car and sport response. So if your sport response is great for passing or overtaking somebody on the highway, so I like to explain it as you're just driving home, you're in seventh gear, just dawdling along, and you want to pass somebody, so you'd press the sport response button that's in the center of the turn dial on the steering wheel, and then the car would shift down to the lowest gear possible, you get the maximum boost, and you can overtake that person as quickly and safely as possible. Um, other things that we've added to this car are the Bose audio, so it's a great sounding audio system inside the vehicle, Burmester is an available upgrade. Uh, Apple CarPlay is added in this car as well. Lane change assist, that's our blind spot warning. Personally, uh, owning this car for uh, over 20,000 kilometers, um, I never really missed having lane change assist, but it is on this car. But visibility, I guess what I'm trying to say, is fantastic out of the Cayman. We have the multi-function heated steering wheel, and it is the GT Sport Design steering wheel, uh, which gives you the smaller circumference, uh, so it's a neat and tidy steering wheel in your hands. And um, yeah, power folding mirrors, like I said. Overall, the Cayman, uh, again, is a, a, an excellent uh, vehicle. Um, a little bit more about my ownership while I have you guys here. Uh, over the course of those 20,000 plus kilometers, my average fuel consumption, not that uh, people care about it typically when they're buying a Porsche, but uh, it rated uh, 6.9 liters per hundred. On the highway, we would dip down to 6.4 liters. Um, the car is stable in all conditions, summer, winter. Uh, it's such a joy to drive traveling with it. You have lots of storage up front and in the back. Spent the car um, out in Kelowna for a few nights. Was able to bring back a bunch of wine in the front trunk or the frunk as we call it. So I really encourage people to come try out the Cayman. A lot of people come in with bigger budgets than this car to buy a bigger, much more capable car. But uh, they're surely surprised on the performance of the Cayman. So um, it's definitely worth checking out. This car here as equipped is priced at $87,400. Um, if you want further information, please reach out to any of us at Porsche Center Calgary. Thanks for tuning in and please don't hesitate to click like and subscribe. We'll talk to you soon.